What's up, everybody? Benji Bruce here with Speaking Lifestyle. Benji Bruce, Billionaire Bruce, Sexy Bees, Hot Tamale, whatever you want to call me, it's up to you. But in this video, we're going to talk about how do you be more charismatic on camera? Because you got to remember that boring equals broke. If you are boring on camera, you will be broke off camera. So you have to remember that when it comes to presenting in general, whether you're creating any type of content. So the more charismatic you are, the more attention you're going to create, the more attention you're going to capture, then you're going to be able to convert that into sales, convert it into movement, convert it into whatever you want to convert it into. I recommend sales because, hey, you might as well get the money, right? So it's like if you're going to be charismatic, you can capture attention, you capture the mind, and you convert that into a sale. So how do you actually be more charismatic on camera? You see, a lot of times people think when it comes to charisma, they think, oh, you got to be extroverted. You got to be extra. You got to be one of those people who are like, hey, everybody, yeah, we're going to get going. Like you, you don't have to do all that. So if that's your personality, if you got that crackhead energy, that that um, yeah, that, that crackhead energy with the, the the extroverted type energy, then go ahead and do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. But if you're more of an introvert like me, I'm an introvert. If you ever see me uh, anywhere, like I'm one of those introverted type people. So uh, if if you're more of an introvert, then you have like a different type of charisma that you can express. The, is I call it more of like a power charisma. It can be like a power charisma. That's where. Power is one of those things where power doesn't really need to be spoken of. Its presence is felt, and that's how a power charisma is. And so a perfect example is like uh, like just mysteriousness. So like if you look at uh, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. So Neil, Neil deGrasse Tyson has like this mysteriousness about him, and his voice is really cool. He's an astrophysicist, by the way. And, and just by the way he talks, he has like this charisma. So he's not extra when he when he's recording videos. He just has this mysterious kind of voice, this mysterious presence that that creates that charismatic uh, the, the charismatic presence for him. So like when when he talks about astrophysicists or physics in general, he's just like today on Star Talk, we're going to talk about how the light hits your your eyes and the physics of light speed and what it really means to speed at the speed of light and that just didn't make any sense but but basically he has like this really cool way to talk and everything is is like nice and calm and everything this mysterious type of vibe and that is charismatic in and of itself so there's different types of charisma so don't worry about like being this extrovert type of type of charismatic type of person so the reason why a lot of people they're not charismatic is just because you are stopping yourself from being charismatic. As soon as you hit record, you you get tense. You're just like, hey, everybody, today we're going to talk about marketing. Uh, I'm going to show you how to generate. And so it, it's like you just get really, really tense. So what has to happen for you to be charismatic is you have to stop being dumb and you just got to let loose, like just let loose on camera and you're really focusing on how you feel in general. This is why I tell people like, hey, just kind of have fun like before you even hit record because then it's going to naturally translate when you're on camera. So you got to let loose. You got to stop stop allowing yourself to be so freaking tense on camera and just let loose. And then um, it's kind of like you want to feel what you want to have felt. And that's how you start to become more charismatic. You feel what you want to have felt. If you want them to feel a certain way, you have to feel that way. So if you want them to feel excited, you got to be excited. So just remember that you got to let loose and you got to feel what you want them to have felt. And so when it comes to charisma, something about you has to be interesting. And there is something about you that is interesting. You may not be able to pinpoint it because you're coming from the first person's perspective. Whereas other people, they're looking at you and they're saying things like, oh, I like this about this person. I don't like this. Whatever it is, like people, they look at me, they're like, oh, I like the dude's a sexy beast. Oh, hot tamale. Uh, no, that's not really. Um, well, who knows? Maybe it is. But it, it, a lot of people like with, with my stuff is how very direct I am. So I tend to be very direct just because I don't like wasting time. I don't see a reason to waste so much time. So people like how direct I am. And what's going to happen is when you start presenting, just in general, when you start creating more content, people are going to start saying certain things. They're going to like send you an email. Or they're going to comment on your videos. They're going to say certain things. Oh, I love how you whatever. I love how you're very direct. I love how you just get to the point. When they say things like that, you naturally start doing more of that because that's how you're going to start to realize your, your charisma. You're going to start seeing, well, other people are going to see certain things in you and they're going to say, okay, cool. They like that. Let me do more of that. 
So that's how you're really going to start to create your charisma. You're not going to one day just wake up and boom, you're just charismatic. That's not how it works. What happens is you build the charisma over time. And you build it over time by creating a lot of content. You practice. Like you're filming, you're filming, you're filming, you're filming, you're practicing. That's what you do. Just practice, 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 practice. And once you practice, you're going to naturally start to get more comfortable on camera. And when I think about it, Charisma is really just confidence. That's all charisma is when it comes to, to being on camera. It's just pure confidence. And so with confidence, the way you build that, once again, you keep creating over and over and over again. And at first, you're going to go from, from this. Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about marketing. And then you're going to be like, what's up, everybody? We're going to talk about marketing today. All right, we're going to get going. And so that's what's going to happen is like, over time, you're going to build that confidence of just being yourself. You're going to let loose. And once you're loosey-goosey, you're going to be like, yeah, oh, snaps, oh, snap. And so that's what's going to happen to you on camera. Uh, you, you don't really want to, um, uh, you don't want to like fake anything because when you fake a lot of stuff, people can, they, they can kind of tell. Sort of. I guess if you do it in a really good way, they really can't. But, uh, oh, well, just completely ignore that part. Uh, because the, the reason why I say you don't want to fake stuff is just because it doesn't come across as authentic. And so when it doesn't come across as authentic, people say, like, oh, this dude, he's just a goofy idiot. And that's, that's what's going to happen. So it's like when you – if you want to be more charismatic on camera, you just got to understand that what you, what you want to do is you want to be yourself, but it's hard to be yourself on camera because you haven't seen yourself from other people's perspective. So what you do is you start producing content. As you produce more, people are going to say certain things. Well, I love how you're direct. I love your, your humor. I love your dry sense of humor. Whatever it is. They're going to say certain things. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, well, I do that all the time off camera. And all of a sudden, you're going to start to naturally do it more on camera. You're going to naturally become more confident and everything just because you're doing it more and more and more. You're just practicing over and over and over again. So remember, competence comes from comp confidence. Competence comes from confidence. So that, that's where it all comes down to. And that's how you really become more charismatic on camera. You're not going to wake up one day and just be charismatic. You become charismatic on camera over time. That's it. That's all I want to say. So why should you be charismatic on camera? Because I said so, damn it. <laughs>